20 years ago, Kate Mahoney was 14 years old, dying of cancer at Krause Hospital. All of the stats and the doctors believed that I would not survive. There would be no medical reason for me to survive. Stage 4 ovarian cancer turned into an all-out organ shutdown. But then, something happened. The sisters of St. Francis came to Kate's bedside and along with family and friends, started praying to Mother Mary Ann Cope. In a matter of days, Kate made a stunning recovery. My discharge report said there is no medical reason for her to be alive. This is the first of two miracles the Catholic Church attributes to Mother Mary Ann Cope. The Vatican declared her a saint in December. She'll be canonized later this year, making her Syracuse's first saint. I didn't need the official declaration. For me, that's who she is. But I think it's wonderful that it's happened. Kate says it's hard to put into words just how much Mother Mary Ann means to her. Kate had just moved to Syracuse when she was diagnosed with cancer and remembers feeling like she didn't belong among classmates. She says it's only fitting Mother Mary Ann will soon officially be called St. Mary Ann Cope mother of outcasts. Outcasts can be a broad term depending on who you are. I really think she can be, if not a saint, a guardian angel for people who are feeling a little bit left out. Kate also credits the medical staff at Kraus Hospital for her recovery, saying it was a team effort led by Mother Mary Ann Cope. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Chris McGrath.